Welcome to this episode of the Angry Beekeeper. We are coming to you from Port Colborne, Ontario, Canada, home of the Welland Canal. There's the old Robin Hood flower building and there's the water tower. Little known fact, Port Colborne is the single mother capital of Canada, second only to Welland, Ontario, Canada, which is 10 minutes down the road. True story. Here today, we thought we'd take a little road trip and come to Port Colburn, Ontario, Canada. We're here at Lock 8. Uh, we got a big boat coming through. I think that's very cool. Uh, Port Colburn on the website, it says it's a great place to come for a day or a great place to stay for a month, which is really nice. Now, we thought we would talk to you a little bit today about honey and emotional attachments that people have with honey. In selling honey off our front porch, People come all the time and they tell stories of their childhood. Uh, yesterday I had a uh, nice Ukrainian man on my porch for hours and he was talking about as a child how his grandfather would bring him honeycomb. <clears throat> he was a very sickly child and he felt that in eating raw honeycomb it helped with his allergies and it made him well. I had another gentleman, he was from the Philippines and he came out and bought honeycomb and he had about five little kids in his car and he bought honeycomb for all the kids and he told the kids about his father and how one of his earliest memories was back in the Philippines and in, in the village his father climbed a tree and threw honeycomb down to the kids and he almost had a, an emotional experience talking to the kids about his father and getting honeycomb and and I think it's really great when I get to experience that. Now honey, it occupies a huge, ooh, monarch butterfly, that's really cool. Honey, in our pop culture, and our collective mentality, it, it shares a really interesting place. We call our loved ones honey. Young people, when they get married, they go on a honeymoon. And that started way back years ago. They would ply young people with mead wine made from honey for a month and that way when they got together they wouldn't have any inhibitions and they would probably make some babies and life would go on and that's the origin of honeymoon. In the Muslim culture they talk about Allah, he was crying, or excuse me, the Prophet Muhammad was crying and Allah sent bees to collect his tears so they wouldn't hit the ground and they brought the tears back to their hive and that's where honey came from. And I think that's kind of a really neat story. I think that's really awesome. Honey is just something magical. People love honey. In a couple of weeks we hope to have honeycomb and people drive from Toronto hours away just to come get our honeycomb. It's just really cool. I love everything about honey. I'm so passionate about it. Everybody that comes to my house, I just talk to about talk about honey for hours and hours. That's what I do. I love it. Thanks for watching this episode of the Angry Beekeeper. Our motto: I take care of the bees. The bees take care of me. Like, share, and subscribe, or it'll make me angry. Thank you.
if there was a snail riding on that boat right now, the snail would be yelling, Wee! <laughs> I, 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 oh, Honey honey Bear 3000. Yeah. Yes, Port Colborne has its own little dating website. I don't know what it's called, but Honey Bear 3000 came up. It was actually a dude, which is kind of misleading because I thought Honey Bear would be a woman. Um, I just did it for research purposes, right? I wasn't actually looking for yeah. online love. But we checked it out. Honey Bear, 3,000 is a dude. Thanks for watching this episode of The Angry Beekeeper. Why well, was the matter with that? Nothing. I, I wasn't expecting you to lean, so you okay. out of the shot. I'll stand up more. So this is the shot right here. Yeah. You want to lean again? Uh, I'm set up for it. Are you now. set up right here? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching this episode of The Angry Beekeeper. I'm Rado. What? I messed that up. Oh no! Okay, I'll do it again. You ready? Yeah. And maybe this is stupid. Maybe we don't even want to use this. Hey, it might work. Welcome to this episode. No, I'm, you're, I'm, I'm you're saying goodbye. Me. Welcome. What the hell? Okay, stop. Okay, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah. Don't try that again. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the Angry Beekeeper. Our motto. I take care of the bees. What? Oh crap, it was, it was, it was happening. Did, it, did the battery die? Okay, you ready? Okay, it's, okay can, make sure One you can hear me. Can you hear me? Really good microphones.